Now, many believers, probably most believers, have been taught to follow Psalm 51 as a model for being forgiven for their sins and a model for being completely cleansed for their sins, at least temporarily forgiven and temporarily cleansed after some type of sin in their lives. And Psalm 51 is about David after his sin with Bathsheba. And so what David does in Psalm 51 is he, is he seeks forgiveness of his sins and he seeks cleansing from his sins. But what we have to remember about Psalm 51, it's an old covenant prayer of David. It's an Old Testament prayer. It's, it's a prayer under the law of Moses. And there's nothing in Psalm 51 about Jesus. There's nothing in Psalm 51 about the blood of Jesus. There's nothing in Psalm 51 about the cross of Jesus. Yet most pastors and most, most small group leaders and Bible study leaders and mentors and those who disciple others point people to Psalm 51, which is a crossless psalm, psalm for how a person, how a person, person should deal with their sins. Psalm 51 is not for a believer today. I mean, David's being open and he's being honest and he's being transparent, but he's seeking forgiveness and he's seeking cleansing. That's not for believers today. We, we relate to God through the New Testament of grace. That's what Hebrews is about. We relate to God through the blood of Christ, complete cleansing of sins because of the blood of Christ, full forgiveness of sins because of the blood of Christ. So we don't relate to God through psalm 51 it's 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 void of jesus in that psalm it there's nothing about the blood of jesus in that psalm david even prays lord cleanse me with hyssop and i will be as white as snow so so david knows nothing about the blood of jesus in psalm 51 you and i've been cleansed of all sins by the blood of jesus we've been forgiven of all sins by the blood of jesus so we don't want to point people to an old covenant psalm we want to point people to the new covenant of the grace of Jesus.